Hello everyone, my name is Fong and welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to show you the concept of the Maya notation. In the Maya cultures, the number consists of the simple symbols, like the dot, the value is number one, the shield, the value is number zero, and the bar, the value is number five. The writing of the number is in page 20 and generally in vertical. For the Maya notation, I will create the two different videos. The first one, I will show you how to convert the Maya notation to the number in page number 10. And the second video, I will show you how to convert the number in page 10 to the Maya notation. Let's do the first example that convert the Maya notation to the page number 10. Just keep in mind, whenever you convert the number from the Maya notation to the page number 10. You have to start from the bottom to the top, okay? So first, the bottom line. So you see here, we have a one line and a one dot. This means the value is number six. And then here we see the three dot, this means the value is number three. And the next step, you have to multiply by the place value. So we multiply by the place value. And remember, because the Maya notation, we have the base number 20. So we have to start at the beginning is the exponent number is the zero and one, okay? So the last step, this means we have to calculate this calculation and then add it up. So we have six times 20 power zero, it means six. And three times 20 power one, it means the 60. And then finally we add up. So the total is 66. All right, everyone, let's do the second example. Just keep in mind when we do the Maya notation to the page number 10, we always start from the bottom to the top. Okay. So now we have over here at the bottom line, we have three different bars and we have the two dots. It means we have 17. We do the same thing over here. So we have the number of seven. We have one dot and one line. We have number six. And then here we have a three dots. We have number three over here. Now, next step, we multiply by the place number. Then a little bit from um, the first example. Thus, right now we have a three more line, right? Three more lines. So we have so we start from the power zero, the power one over here. However, at the line number three from the bottom. So we start again from the power one and the power two. So if you have more lines, we have continue brights up the number of the exponent, like 20 power three, 20 power four, and so on. Okay. So and the next thing is we have to multiply by 18. We multiply by 18. That is also a requirement if we have the two more lines. And then we start at the line number three, okay? So if we have more lines, so we multiply by 18, multiply by 18, and so on. All right. And then the last step, we add up for every calculation. So first, at the bottom line, we have 17. Over here, we have the 140. And the third line, we have 6 times 20 times 18. So we have 2160. And now the last line at the top, we have 3 times 20 power 2 and times 18. So we have 21,600. And then we add up for everything. So we have 21,600 plus 20, uh, 2,160 we plus 140 we plus 17. So we have the total is 23,000. 917 
as the solution. All right, so let's do the last example. Um, for this example, I believe it's really a big number because we have the more lines. And I would like you focus on the line number three and more because right now we have total is one, two, three, four, five, and six, total six lines. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the way we do exactly the same thing that what we did. So first, we have converted to value. So here we have a one bar. So we have the five, one dot. We have the one. We have a three dots and two lights. So we have 13. We have this. This means we have a 16 and so on. We have eight and three. And then the thing I would like you focus on is start at the line number three from the bottom. So whenever we have the line here, the line number three, we always start the exponent number is from one and so on, which rise up two, three, and four over here. And of course, we have to multiply by 18, 18, 18, and 18, okay? And then the last step, we have to do is we have to calculate everything from here. So we have three times 20 power four and times 18. So we as total, we add up, we have the solution is very big number is nine, nine, one, one. 905. So it means we have 9,911,905 as final solution. All right. So I hope you understand the concept when you ever you convert the magic notation to the number in space 10. Thank you. And I see you the next video. Goodbye.